Welcome back. It's uh, a fine day for a Friday here. Every day is a fine day at the uh, Question Tequila Studios. We're, you're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco. We're doing what we do every day, mixing it up, talking to the purple people, finding that thoughtful middle ground by having conversations with real people who know where the rubber meets the road. Joining me again to mix it up uh, on this fine Friday is uh, Rich Valdez. He's the host of the This Is America podcast. You got to tune into that. He's on radio down in Philly. We'll get those call letters. And uh, Rob Taub, he's a uh, humorist. He's also the ambassador for uh, the American Diabetes Association, American Heart Association, and you're the ambassador for the No Diabetes by Heart. That is correct. Program. No Diabetes by Heart.org. That's right. Um, so, guys, uh, both experts in your own right in many things, but uh, it seems like the discourse has gotten so bad now. Donald Trump announced that he's moving his uh, permanent residence to Florida, and uh, the freaks come out at night on Halloween, and here's uh, Mayor Bill de what Mayor Bill de Blasio had to say when they talk about Trump acting presidential. This is what de Blasio said. Don't let the door hit you on the way out or whatever. That's Bill de Blasio, the mayor. Very, very, very regal. Um, and then Andrew Cuomo, chimes in with this. Good riddance. It's not like Mr. Trump paid taxes here anyway. He's all yours, Florida. That's Andrew Cuomo. Seemed to me like he sounded like he said he doesn't pay taxes here anyway. Did he look at Trump's tax returns? Can the governor look at anyone's tax returns, their state returns? I think it's, a, it's definitely a, a jab that he's taking, tongue-in-cheek because they've been trying to subpoena to get these taxes. But I think really this comes down to the, these classless comments from de Blasio and being echoed by, by Governor Cuomo. This is them being spoiled brats. They're doing everything they can to beat Trump, and he seems to continue but to they win. they got a pile on, Rob. Is this uh, good? I'm going to interject here, uh, surprisingly, and I'm going to stand with you guys, but I want you to look at the big picture, which is Trump... Let's forget about Donald Trump. Let's just look at wealthy people in a particular mm -hmm. economic bracket. That Michael Bloomberg said, 1% of them pay 99% of the taxes in the city and the state. And so it's not just Donald Trump that's leaving. It's wealthy people leaving in droves for Florida. Oh, they're fleeing and, New York. And Andrew Cuomo had an infamous quote where he said he couldn't understand why this was happening. Uh, it's happening because uh, of him and Bill de Blasio. Uh, and they're uh, driving wealthy people uh, out of here. And our city is on the way to ruin again that we haven't experienced since the 1970s no in doubt. bankruptcy. When I walk down the street these days, I'm not kidding. I've been living in New York. I was born on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. I've been walking around the whole East Lo Lower East Side and all downtown for my whole life. I have never seen so many homeless people sleeping in the streets. Am I, am I wrong? You're you absolutely guys right. But I always had you pegged for Park Avenue, John. No, man. I grew up in Nickabaca Village. You didn't have a bunker? New York City the Housing staff? Authority, okay? The whole tobacco prat, all the families grew up there. Well, you know, what you just mentioned, I think, is really the, the crux of the, the issue here. You have these guys that lean to the left, and they're so far to the left that they're promoting these socialist policies that are truly bankrupting the state and the city, putting people, not like us, but everybody, out on the street. And that's why you have to walk over these people on your way to work, coming out of the train, et cetera. These guys are a disgrace to New York and a disgrace to America. Trump's probably setting up for five years from now, you know, because uh, all said and done, living in New York City, they take about 13, 14% out of your tax with the commuter tax, the MTA tax, the bridge tax, that tax, right? If, let's say, when he gets out, he's going to make, Obama made $100 million like this. You know, so by just by moving to Florida. Trump could lose that in a second, it too. It puts $14 million in his pocket. Just, you know, I, I will to say start this. off. It, it, it sounds just, like a pretty good just strategy, Just to take a Don. jab at Donald Trump, I think that he will not be welcomed warmly by New Yorkers if he were to cut once post-presidency in the restaurants, on the street. So I think Florida is a better choice for him. Good people don't go into government. <laughs> you will not be loved. He's not going to be hugged a lot. So, yeah, definitely not. So uh, there was a big... Are you giving me 10 seconds? Wow, that was so good. I didn't even realize how long, how long we went. But guys, thanks so much. That was a wonderful interaction Rich there. Rob Tau. Mm -hmm. We read so yeah. many times. Frank hates when I overuse the bell, but I'm going to bring it one final time. Uh, Rob Tau, Rich Valdez, mixing it up as good as anyone. We're going to continue doing that right after this. One employment attorney, 
workplace expert Jonathan Bell joins us for an entrepreneur's update. You're watching Liquid Lunch back after this.